This scene of devastation in South Shields is just an insight into what could happen if you drink and drive this festive season. Tynadwea Fire and Rescue Service carried out a demonstration of how our emergency services battle to rescue people from sometimes fatal collisions caused by drink driving. And as Sergeant Paul McIntosh from Northumbria Police explains, it can be so easy to just jump in the driving seat after drinking, but the tragic consequences aren't worth it, even when you think you've sobered up. If you're in doubt, if you can taste alcohol in your, in your mouth, just don't, don't drive. And you know, there's a, there's a lot of options there. You've got you've got your friends, your family, taxis, public transport. But the more like sort of like planning you can put, um, things you can organise, uh, the safer it'll be for you and everybody else. Because at the end of the day, consequences can be absolutely catastrophic. Yeah, well, the consequences are, you know, talking bluntly, is either killing yourself or, or, or killing somebody else. The vehicles were arranged so that the firefighters had to rescue drivers and passengers trapped in the collisions. And tragic incidents like these ones demonstrated can be particularly distressing at this time of year for both the victims' families and the emergency services who tend to them. I think if we can get a message out there to say you cannot drive a vehicle safely under the influence of drink or drugs, so please bear that in mind and have some consideration for the other road users. You know, and if you're thinking about doing it, you know, have the consideration or the thought to say, I'll either walk, I'll get a taxi, I'll get the bus. Yeah, please don't do it. It's very labour intensive for all the emergency services. Um, as you can see, we've got six appliances here. You know, North Rome Police are in attendance. There would also be paramedics here in attendance here. And it has a drain on resources that could be utilised elsewhere, just through the, the, the fact that someone's decided that they're going to drink drive or drug drive. This initiative builds on the work of Operation Dragoon and the festive drink and drug campaign. And to highlight that, the rescued driver was breathalyzed by police. So far throughout December alone, Northumbria Police have arrested 81 people for drink or drug driving offences and are continuing to test anyone involved in a collision. It's hoped this hard-hitting demonstration will discourage people from drink driving, not just over the festive period, but all year round. Zoe Muldoon, Maid and Tynadwea, South Shields.